Okay, here we go. Just for shits and giggles. No way. Hello, welcome back to the kitchen. Today we're going to be making Morgoya sausage. Uh, it's traditionally a lamb sausage, but we're from Northwest Pennsylvania, so we're going to be using some venison, some pork for some fat, and then what you're going to need for seasoning is uh, two teaspoons of ground fennel, coriander, and some cumin. Then we got six tablespoons of fresh minced garlic, a uh, teaspoon of cayenne, two tablespoons of paprika and salt. And then we got our harissa. Harissa? Yeah, harissa sauce. Uh, it's just some ground fresh red peppers. And uh, yeah, it's uh, traditionally found near Morocco, it's North Africa. Uh, should be interesting. So we're just gonna do a little bit of a class on how to make sausage. Here we go. Pro tip too is um, once you've seasoned it up, fry it up, try out some patties. Now, what we have here is a Tulsa 100 pound hydraulic stuffer capable of shooting out well over 200 300 pounds of sausage an hour. Can you tell this hopper is huge? This is technological advancement that just blows the mind today. I mean. This is where we got our start. This is a Landers Ferries and Clark 1862 cast iron sausage stuffer dash cider press. This thing's eight quarts and it's a hand crank manually operated. That's what we're gonna do today. Clint dusted her off for this big show. Little known fact, this is where Bell's Meat Poultry got its start. And well, you can see where it's gotten us today. Getting ready to do your stuffing, so we got a casing here. This is a natural hog casing. You can get we have packs that do like 25 pounds and they're about 30 millimeter. These are 38 to 42 millimeters. And what you want to do is you just want to put this in like a warm, like a lukewarm water, just kind of soak it maybe about a half hour. And then once you soak it, get all the salt busted off of it. You want to rinse it with cold water, flush it out, and then just maybe just set it in a bowl of cold water. Now a lot of people don't use up 25 pounds worth of casings don't want to throw it out i would say just resalt it you can even put it in like a bowl of water and then actually freeze it that way or a lot of times just leave it in your fridge it'll last a long time so you can do it that way or you know shoot more deer Thank <laughs> you. 
<laughs> Do you want me to sit up? <laughs> no, this is definitely going. <laughs> Yep, works just like it did back in 1860. Yeah. You know, like, oh, you're a sausage maker, that's a tough profession. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> Gotta have them Tim Garrity arms. <sighs> Got our first blowout, too. <laughs> oh, God. It, it takes people, like, hours to make this stuff at home, so... I don't feel bad struggling for a few minutes. Yeah, five minutes. So worth the tightness. How to make a sausage? Pretty much to it. Just gonna pull that to one side. Get down there. Kind of twist it. Now I can do this one. Just one, two, three. The other way. Kind of work your way to the end. Okay. Now it's time to clean up. <coughs> We have to grill some of this, so what you want to do is get your sausage and add a little bit of water. Get it to about halfway up the sausage. It's running up to about 300. Don't let that boil. sausage. And I don't know how sacrilegious it is to put mustard on sausage, but I feel like we've already broken that barrier making an Islamic sausage with pork. So, anyhow, you know how to make the sausage. And this one turned out pretty good. It's got a little bit of spice to it. You can get all them ingredients pretty close. Uh, shouldn't have to travel far for it. I think we have most of it other than the harissa paste. But I believe Alton Brown even has an episode where you can uh, cook yourself. But, um, that was always one of them taboo things, seeing how the sausage is made, but I hope we did pretty good. Later, dudes.